Uh, this was a case of a patient that has an ocular trauma and was fixed with this uh, PMMA intraocular lens. But unfortunately, the patient, despite being uh, well with the vision, quite vi quite nice uh, visual acuity, he was complaining a lot about glare. So I decided to remove this lens because the sutures were uh, exposed, uh, piercing through the conjunctiva. And uh, what I did was uh, completing the, the vitrectomy that was uh, incomplete and after cutting the, the sutures, I'm uh, disengaging the, the lens uh, from the, the sutures inside the eye. As you can see now, I'm pulling in the lens and now protecting the macula with viscoelastic because the lens is going to fall down now. And these uh, PMMA lenses, you have to remove them through a scleral tunnel and that's why I'm doing this, I'm taking it out. And after this, uh, I'm also going to implant the, the Solecofil SSFIOL. I'm closing the, the sclera so that I can uh, work in a, in a controlled environment with control IOP. And now I'm removing the the remnants of the submarine that were uh, quite large and can uh, move and displace the lens. And now I'm implanting the, the Soleco field under the scleral uh, flaps. As you can see now, the right one I uh, make it a little bit deeper because it was a little bit uh, shallow. And now I'm going to implant this custom flex uh, prosthesis from Human Optis. It is uh, uh, without fever. Uh, and um, I'm using the Canabrava technique to fixate the prosthesis. So after uh, passing the, the ProLen 6.0 uh, threads, I'm uh, putting the prosthesis into the, into the eye and over the IOL and adjusting the lens. Using this combination, first the Soleco field that allows you to avoid the, the falling of the prosthesis into the vitreous cavity and also protect the cornea with viscoelastic because it creates a, a barrier, uh, helps a lot with this uh, technique. And finally, the patient went well with good visual acuity and also a reduction of glare.